everyone here is a question from rational numbers and this questions are really important for exams this type of questions can be anything like in place of minus 3 and minus 2 they can put anything but the method remains same how to find them so let's read the question the question is find five rational numbers between minus 3 and minus 2 so they may ask five rational number 10 rational number it's completely on the examiner what they're gonna ask but the method how to find out rational numbers between two rational number here we go so you can see that uh, between minus 3 and minus 2 there is a no gap right there's a no gap between minus 3 and minus 2 then how to find out rational numbers between them so that's really important uh, what we're gonna do here is in this case we're gonna find equivalent rational number of minus 3 and minus 2 so whenever there's a no gap between the two rational numbers given we have to find out their equivalent rational numbers and then we can find it out and how to find out this equivalent rational numbers it's very simple we know that minus 3 can be also written as minus 3 by 1 yeah it, it is a rational number now to find the equivalent rational number you can either multiply or you can divide the numerator and denominator with same number so here they are asking us to find out five rational numbers right so you can multiply with any number greater than five that is you can start with six you can multiply with any number starting from six like from six you can take any number so that you get five rational minimum five rational numbers between them so here what i'm going to do i'm going to multiply with 10 why 10 because it's easy to multiply you can take anything it's completely on you remember there are infinitely many rational numbers between two rational numbers so your answer may vary from one person to other person all right so let's find out the equivalent rational number so i'm going to multiply with minus 3 upon 1 i'm going to multiply with 10 okay so this is equal to equivalent means they are equal so minus 3 multiplied by 10 upon 1 multiplied by 10 so this is equal to minus 30 multiplied by 10 similarly with minus 2 also with the minus 2 can be written as minus 2 upon 1 now this is equal to minus 2 multiplied by 10 and again 1 multiplied by 10 remember same number because denominator has to be same so you cannot change the denominator multiply with same number with both both the rational numbers given so this will be equal to minus 20 by 10 now you can see that between minus 30 and minus 20 we have many numbers like we have minus 29 minus 28 like that so on up to minus uh, 21 yes so between that we can pick any five rational numbers you can write down so like that i said if you choose this number like here i have taken 10 if you choose 6 you will get exactly five rational numbers if you take 20 here in place of 10 you get many gap will be more you get many rational numbers it's completely upon you so from here we're going to conclude the answer therefore five rational numbers five rational numbers between minus 3 and minus 2 are so I'm gonna start with minus 21 so minus 21 upon 10 don't include minus 20 and minus 30 we have to write down between them and then minus 22 by 10 minus 23 by 10 minus 24 by 10 and the last one is minus 25 by 10 you can write down minus 26 27 28 up to 29 you can take anything so these are the five rational numbers between minus 3 and minus 2 so if you take any other number in place of 10 your answer will come different than mine but that's completely fine like i said before there are infinitely many rational numbers so your answer may vary but it will be correct so i hope this is clear in case you have a further questions or doubts you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching